Welcome back to A to Z Animals. Today, we're talking about the eight foot giant millipede that once roamed the earth. But before we get into this video, please consider subscribing with post notifications on so that you'll never miss an upload. The Arthropora was an arthropod commonly referred to as the most giant millipede of all time. It had only five species, and they are all extinct. It originated during the late Carboniferous period. The Arthropora existed before the dinosaur, about 345 to 290 million years ago. They were one of the largest terrestrial species during this period. They are closely related to the modern-day millipede. The Arthropora dominated the swampy forest of North America during the Pennsylvanian period, a sub-era in the Carboniferous period. In this article, we'll take a historical journey into the life and extinction of the eight-foot giant millipede that once roamed the Earth. Read on. The Arthropora, meaning jointed ribs in Greek, is a genus of extinct large millipedes belonging to the phylum Arthropoda. Being an arthropod, the Arthropora is characterized by a well-developed jointed dorsal exoskeleton, known as a tergite. It had a flat, long, segmented body, which was composed of two large antennae located on the head. Each segment of its body contained three armor plates, one on the ventral part of its body and the other two lying by its sides. This served as a protective layer from environmental hazards. It can be identified by its brown or black colored bodies, which are lined with yellow at the distal parts of each segment. The head is not distinctly known. However, it was believed to be covered by the first tergite, which later turned out to be the column or neck. The Arthropora was believed to have been diplopidus, such as the millipede. It had two pairs of legs attached to an individual tergite. Fossil analysis shows that it had up to 28 to 32 jointed bodies. That means it had about 112 to 128 legs in total. It had three ventral plates, namely the K, B, and Rosette's plates, which were thought to be the animal's respiratory organs. How large was the Arthropleura? As you must have guessed by now, the Arthropleura was one of the largest arthropods to ever roam the Earth, with a size of about 2 to 2.6 meters, or 6 to 8 feet. This is about the size of a small car today. A study suggested that the Arthropleura weighed about the same size as a large dog, about 50 kilograms, or 110 pounds. During the Carboniferous period when the Arthropleura existed, the oxygen available on Earth was around 51%. This high level of oxygen contributed to their enormous size. The Arthropleura would most likely not have survived in this modern world, with about 21% oxygen available. Weight, 110 pounds, 50 kilograms. Length, 2 to 2.6 meters. Skin, thick exoskeleton. Legs, 112 to 128 legs. The Arthropleura was an herbivore. There's no conclusive evidence for this, but a study has shown that Arthropleura may have fed on larger plants, fruits, and seeds because of its size. They had strong jaws to crack seeds and break large fruits and even dead wood. Another study about possible gut contents from an Arthropleura showed gut contents that were made of debris from the tree-like club mosses, which were a significant component of the coal swamp vegetation. Although another study showed that the Arthropleura's diet consisted of mostly plants, it was possible that the Arthropleura was carnivorous during its juvenile stage. This is because the ability to digest plants properly was discovered not to have been developed until they matured. The Arthropleura existed about 345 to 290 million years ago, from the Visian stage of the Carboniferous period to the Sakmarian stage of the Lower Permian period. It lived alongside other animals like some primitive reptiles and giant amphibians. It was once thought that the Arthropleura lived in the coal forests. However, fossil trackways were found in the Carboniferous rainforest after its collapse. This is now modern-day North America and Europe. This region is close to the equator, and it is covered by various richly vegetated swamps. This was the home to the Arthropleura and many other large arthropods, like the dragonfly. As a result of its size, the adult flat-walking giant had no known predator during its period of existence. And who can blame it? I mean, I would run away in fear at the horror of this creature. The Arthropleura was a solitary creature. It was simply on top of its food chain. It had thick, tough, and wide back armor plating as its defense, and its strong jaws could deliver a nasty bite. However, it is unlikely that the walking giant may have been poisonous. The Arthropleura's environment is its primary threat. Sharp, large rocks could easily impale the walking giant. Also, Carboniferous storms could be devastating to the Arthropleura. 
the Arthropleura's strong body armor couldn't protect it from the Carboniferous forest fires. So, the animal would often make an escape from the fire or crouch for cover on the ground, and most of the time it gets burned alive. The Arthropleura's armor was its best defense. It was naturally mildly aggressive, and when challenged, like the cobras, the Arthropleura could lift its upper body so it looks massively tall, tall enough to look a grown man right in the eye. But this defense strategy is unsafe, as it exposes its soft innards to potential attack. Like modern millipedes and centipedes, they can secrete pungent-smelling cyanide. This helps keep their enemies away. The first fossil discovery of the Arthropleura, Arthropleura amata jordan and armata meyer, was in 1854. There are many fossil tracks on the coast of Scotland in the Isle of Arran. Recently, researchers discovered a new Arthropleura fossil dated around 326 million years old. It was inside a fragmented block of sandstone located on a beach in Northumberland, Northeast England. The exoskeleton fragment discovered is about 2.5 feet long and around 1.8 feet wide. This means that the creature that molted must have been around 8.5 feet or 2.6 meters long and weighed around 110 pounds, or 50 kilograms. However, nobody has yet to find a complete and large individual Anthropleura fossil. This is because the body armor of these large arthropods fell apart after the creature's death. Therefore, individual segments are found separately as fossils. All fossils discovered are believed to be molting shells of the organism, not the actual carcasses. And in some cases where the carcasses were reportedly found, it is usually incomplete. Researchers have had to make educated guesses about the life of the organism. The Arthropleura existed between 345 to 290 million years ago. The extinction of the Arthropleura occurred a few years after the end of the Carboniferous period, due to the Carboniferous rainforest collapse. Terrestrial animal life was greatly established during the Carboniferous period. The tetrapods, which had originated during the preceding Devonian period, became more diversified during this period. The Carboniferous rainforest collapse was caused by climate change. It was characterized by glaciations, low sea levels, and mountain slides. The Carboniferous period ended when the moist climate started drying out and rainforest moisture started reducing, followed by the desertification that ushered in the Permian period. Studies show that the high oxygen level was responsible for the survival of the Arthropleura in its enormous size. However, other researchers suggested that the lack of competition for resources was responsible for their survival. This lack of known predators must have contributed as well. The initial hypothesis was widely accepted because it proved valid and tallied with the cause of their extinction. The Carboniferous rainforest collapse and the atmospheric oxygen level reduction caused by climate change brought the eight-foot giant to extinction. The Arthropleura was the largest arthropod to exist, about 345 to 290 million years ago. It coexisted with some other arthropods like Pulmonoscorpius and Meganora. Pulmonoscorpius. Pulmonoscorpius is Latin for pulmonis, which means lung, and in Greek, scorpios, which means scorpion. It is also an extinct species that lived in the Carboniferous period about 336 to 326 million years ago. This was during the Visian and Serpicovian ages. It preyed on small tetrapods and smaller arthropods, but it wasn't a threat to the Arthropleurus. Meganura this is an extinct genus of insects from the late Carboniferous period. They are related to modern-day dragonflies and were carnivorous. The living successors of the Arthropleura, such as millipedes and centipedes, have evolved into smaller sizes. This is a result of lesser amounts of oxygen available, which is about 21% today. Did you find this interesting? Leave that in the comments below! Subscribe for more animal content like this.